Chosen was where you were, where you were, where you were, where you were. Chosen was back with another powerful and productive video, right? Great. Yes, chosen one. You click on this video by the title, right? Great. Congratulations. Yes, God is about to speak through me to you, chosen one. Oh, yes, chosen one. This message is a powerful message. And this message is one of a kind. I'm telling you, you are going to be blessed by the end of this video. Therefore, make sure you watch the entire video to the very end. Great. Someone puts a thorn in your way. Oh, yes. And, you know, this person intentionally did this to destroy you, to harm you. Oh, yes. The enemy of your soul realized that there is greatness inside of you there is potential inside of you there is talent there is gift the enemy of your soul realize that yes you are lied to this world and you being free you being blessed you being great you being successful in this life you are going to be of huge benefit to humanity to so many people for this reason this turn has been put on your way to trap you down, to harm you, to destroy you, to paralyze you, to, I mean, take your focus off God. That is the reason why this stone has been put in your life. It's a trap. But let me tell you, some of you, you might think, oh, Paul, what is the tone that you are talking of? Right? The tone could differ from person to person. Yes, my tone could be an addiction it could be an addiction to something different oh yes your tongue could be um an addiction to also something different right but we all have weakness and we are all dealing with something right someone's tongue could be sickness someone's tongue could be sickness disease someone's tongue could be an affliction someone's tongue could be um you know the children going wayward someone's tongue could be he or she being lonely, single for so long a time and praying to get married and answer is not coming. Someone's tongue could be, um, you know, he trying to, I mean, do right in life, but things keep going wayward, right? So someone's tongue could also be, a different thing altogether but no matter what a turn has been put in our way your way my way right and the goal the sole aim and assignment of this turn is to destroy is to distract you is to distract me is to get us off focus right great so that is the turn in our life that is what it is meant to do but god in a way is turning all these stones that is meant for our doom for our destruction into our highest good our highest advantage i'm telling you your turn could be poverty oh yes i said it differs from person to person what are you dealing with what have you been praying to God about that you are not getting an answer to? And you think, oh, this thing needs to be removed. Oh, yeah. Some of you, you've been married. But it's like your, married, your marriage is not going right. And it, it has turned to a turn in your life right now. You wish you divorce. You wish you leave that relationship. You wish, I mean... Your children are doing better in life, but here is the case. They are not. It's a tone. But a tone is anything, any, any foolish thing. Let me put it that way. It could be any foolish thing. That is what you need to get, right? And you, you, you want it to be removed, but it is never removed. I'm telling you, it is there for a purpose. It serves a purpose. Sometimes... The tone that has been put in our way. We might think, yes, we want it to be removed. But God in his own wisdom know very well that that is what is meant 
to preserve us. That is what he is using to humble us. That is what he is using to build us. That is what he is using to elevate us to a different level in life, a different dimension in life altogether. I'm telling you, let's say, for instance, you are poor. Your turn is poverty. You are poor, right? And you're praying to God to bless you for you to be rich, right? You see, sometimes in life, when you are so blessed and you become rich, God knows the disposition of our hearts, each person's hearts, right? You might think, oh, you need money. Good. That is good. It, it, it is not that God doesn't want to give you such money. God wants to bless you with such money. But the thing is, God knows that if he blesses you with this money at this time, such money can be, might be used to destroy yourself. You, oh, yeah, you can use such money to purchase a, a, sport, a sports car, right? That will be racing too much. You'll be overspeeding. And before you know, you will land yourself in a freaky, fatal accident. And that will shorten your life. Some of us, God knows that blessing us is going to take us away from he, God. Oh, yes, because when the money comes, then the motive, the agendas of life changes. The money now will begin to control us. The money now will begin to detect what we do. And we can use the blessings that we've been praying for to even harm ourselves and harm the people that are so close to us. Oh, yes. People are blessed now that the little things they are taking their fellow human to court. The little things they want to jail somebody. The little thing they want to jail their employer, the, uh, the, 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 their employee. The little thing they want to do this. The little thing they want to do that. The little, All because they have been so much blessed. Right? Great. So, in a way, the blessing has then into something that is taking you out of the way of the Lord. And God is so much aware of this thing. Remember, he is God all by himself. So you've been praying so for so long that you should be blessed. But God has a reason for not blessing you with so much that you have been asking for because he knows that no, at this age, my child, if I bless you so much with this, you will use it to destroy yourself. You will use it to destroy other people. Let me hold it. Get matured a little bit. Go through the hardship of life. Go through the difficulties of life. And let life build you. Let life leave something inside of you, some sort of discipline inside of you so that when the blessing come now that you have been through thick and thin you will value the blessing that blessing instead of making you to be arrogant or to be full of pride or i mean not to um have empathy on others around you be compassionate with others around uh, around you okay let me take my time and do it when you have been through. You have sweat so much. You have toiled so much for it. So that when it comes and you value it, you will not be arrogant. But, but the blessing will humble you. And most of the time, that is what God wants to achieve. It is not that God doesn't want to bless us. God wants to bless us so much. Why would he create us, bring us to this life? And not bless us. Why will you be praying, be working hard, and still it seems like the blessing is being delayed? It's not that God is not having it to give it to you. He has it in store to give it to you. But He knew. He knew. He, he you know, His ways are beyond our ways. You understand that? His thoughts are beyond our thoughts. He he He's bigger than what we imagine. We we we, we think of Him, right? And he knows everything. He's omnipotent, omnipresent. He is omniscient. He knows every secret. 
what you don't know, he knows. Your tomorrow, he knows your tomorrow. He knows how your mindset is going to be tomorrow. He knows that mm, your mind can change. This can change your mind. And that is why it seems like it is taking time. I'm telling you, that tone of poverty that you are praying, that it should live your life. God is using it to preserve you. You might not know. You might not understand. And you'll be like, oh, I've been praying all this while. So, let me put that one aside. That is monetary aspects. Let's come to relationship aspect because most chosen ones go through um, relationship wahala in life. Yes, that's true. You are single. You've been praying for the right partner. You've been working on yourself. You've been listening to me saying, oh, as you're waiting, keep working on yourself. Keep adding value to your life. You've been adding value to your life. Some of you are like, but Paul, I'm so tired. I'm sick and tired of waiting. I'm, I've, I've not crossed paths with this right person. When is this right person coming? It's the same notion. God understand that mm, maybe blessing you with a partner earlier might lead to your early grave. Oh, yes. You might not understand, but God works in mysterious ways. He used certain things that seems to be a thorn in our, in our flesh, in our body to preserve us. You are single. You feel lonely right now because that is the best thing to preserve you right now to keep you alive up to this point in, in life. Maybe if you are married, Maybe you'll be having mental health issues. You will not be raising well. Yes, because you're going to feel so much depressed, stressed up. The marriage is going to warn you. It's, go, it's going to warn you out. Oh, yes. It's, you see, relationship is something else altogether. Relationship can eat into you slowly like a deadly cancer and destroy you. Oh, yes. So God is aware of, he knows, he, he, he's a mysterious God. He knows tomorrow. He sees today from, I mean, what is going to happen, I mean, tomorrow and whatever, right? He knows today's issues from the happenings tomorrow. He's God all by himself. So he knows that, yes, you are single, you've been praying for, but this is not the time. You've not really emotionally matured for it. The emotional intelligence is not there. My child, go through this life single for some time. Get betrayed, get rejected, get abandoned. It's a thorn in your life right now by so many people. So that this will teach you a lesson. Out of that lesson, you will learn how to love yourself, how to love even me, God, and how to focus on your purpose and, you know, ha have an, an understanding that whatever that you are not born with can leave you at any point in time. And the only love that is going to sustain you for the rest of your life is the love that you have for me, God, yourself, and your purpose, your career. Yes, yeah, so by doing this, putting this in place and working on your emotions, knowing how to make yourself happy, knowing how to, I mean, take the right actions, the right move, then I can add this person to your life. God knows. So what you're going through and you've been praying for God and you think God doesn't love you, God is not answering you. I want you to understand this video. The message um, God is uh, trying to speak through me to you, right? You need to understand. Don't get it twisted. Relax. Take a deep breath and reflect on your life. You will realize that the very thing that you think it is meant to destroy you, to harm you, is the very thing that God is using to preserve your life. I'm telling you. It could be your children going wayward and, you know, or they, they, they mingling, they associating with 
the wrong gang, the wrong people, you praying, you doing your best, you you you, you are a chosen one, you have got you, you you have the fear of God, you're trying to bring your own children in the way of the Lord. But here is the case. Um the other side is what is happening, right? And you're trying your possible best. God knows. He knows that mm, this is your child. I have a friend covering him, her, and I know. No matter how far he or she goes, he will still meet what he or she is supposed to meet. And that will change him. That will bring him back to the way of the Lord. So why are you stressing yourself? You don't have to stress yourself. Let things be. Move with the flow of life. The moment you keep doing the right thing, leave everything to God. Leave everything to the universe to decide. Because God loves you so much and... Whatever is happening, it is for your good. It is to improve you. It is not to impair you. You might think it's a thorn in your flesh, a messenger of Satan. As it is in the scripture, Apostle Paul said, A thorn was put in my flesh, a messenger of Satan, to poke me. And this thorn has been poking me all the time. And I plead with the Lord. I pray to God. God, take this from me. But God said, Paul, my grace is sufficient for you. And indeed, God's grace was sufficient for Paul. The very thorn that Paul was praying that it should be removed from his life was the very thing God was using to preserve his life. That is why God said, Paul, my grace is sufficient for you. That thorn in the flesh of Paul did not kill Paul. Did not kill Apostle Paul. Apostle Paul lived to his full age and died a natural death. The thorn in your flesh, that sickness that you think, oh, it meant to destroy you. I'm telling you, that cannot destroy you because God knows. You've been praying. So far as you've been praying and the thing is there, it means God's grace is sufficient for you. So just keep doing the right thing. Keep honoring God and faint not. Right? If you faint not, you will get to understand that mm, mm, God did not answer this prayer the way I wanted. He has rather answered it this way for a particular reason. For his glory. Everything God is doing is for his glory. So chosen one, don't feel stressed. Don't be stressed out. You see, when you understand things of this nature, you move with the flow of life. And you are going to be very peaceful, poised, calm, serene. And I tell you, if you can remain calm, peaceful, positive, in a negative situation, in happiness like this, you are passing the test. And for sure, you are definitely going to come out stronger like never before. You will emerge as a winner. You will become the victor and not a victim. Oh, yes. You will be an achiever and not a failure. You will become the head and never, never, ever the tail. So staying positive in a negative situation is a blessing. It's a blessing, I'm telling you. Right? It's a blessing. So that is it. Maybe your um, the toy in your flesh is, 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 is weakness. It's an addiction to something. Right? You might think, oh, this thing should be removed. You've been praying. You've been fasting. God, remove. God, let, let me stop this thing. God, let me stop that. God, oh, God, help me. God. You see, God is telling you his grace is sufficient for you. Who knows? That weakness, that addiction is not going because it is that addiction that is making you go to church. It is that addiction that is making you pray the more. It is that addiction that makes you feel like to love God the more, to build a stronger relationship with God the more, to draw you more closer to God the more. Yes! It is that addiction that is making you to humble yourself, to go on your knees. 
it is that addiction that is even making you right now to subscribe to this channel to keep listening to my videos if not you wouldn't even be here right so whatever that is happening in your life it is for the glory of god don't lack understanding and i'm not saying um you should use that to be lazy and not do anything and not try to overcome whatever that you go going through in life you have to <clears throat> sorry you have to continuously keep making effort to keep changing your life but what i'm saying is that if you keep making efforts to change your life maybe to overcome an addiction to be healed to get married for your child to change to be blessed you keep doing the right thing you keep praying hard as if all depends on god you keep i mean working hard as if all depends on you 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 know you, you you're doing your best you're putting in effort right you you understand and you're doing all these things but yet things aren't changing like what you're praying for is not changing i'm telling you god's grace is sufficient for you there is no real evil in it it is meant to improve you and not to impair you boom if you understand this this message you are going to have some sort of peace inside of you right now some some sort of energy inspiration is going to spring from within you right now there is going to be a flow of of of, of peace inside of you and that peace is the peace of god that will help you win your battle right that's it that is the enemy. What the enemy meant for shame, oh, God has turned it around, turned it around. What my enemies meant for evil, God has turned it around for my good. What my enemies meant for my harm, oh, God has turned it around. He has turned it around. What my enemies meant for shame, oh, God has turned it around for my good. Oh, yes. God is going to turn it around all for your good. Keep doing the right thing and faint not. If you faint not, I'm telling you, God is going to bless you in his own wonderful awesome unique magnificent way that will beat your imagination stay in faith keep trusting the lord and keep doing the right and see you in my next video i'm out for now peace